So this is one of a pair of Mega Gloves. Um, it has eight e-textile bend sensors um, with the sensitive fabric mounted uh, in between the fingers now in the fourchettes. Um, and picking up off of this uh, fabric, there are the basically the signal lines sewn with conductive thread. Uh, one picks up the finger knuckle bend and the other uh, picks up the hand knuckle bend. Um, so there's eight of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's also eight flex sensors um, inside the pockets here, also on those same joints. Um, and there's a ninth flex sensor mounted um, down here in the wrist. So all of the uh, finger flex and e-textile sensors are wired to the IMU here via the uh, flexible breakout board, which is really delicate um, and falling apart already. Um, and, and the wrist sensor uh, is just broken out to this plug back here um, and has to be uh, read by a separate exosk since this one only has uh, 16 inputs. So I can put on the glove. Um, and the ground plane for all of the e-textile sensors is this piece of conductive fabric here on the palm. And there's a conductive thread uh, stitched along here to bring that ground uh, along the thumb. And all the conductive threads are stitched to snaps on the lower material, on the stretchy power mesh. And then the snaps on the breakout board are actually directly connected through the neoprene, so that's one piece the wristband can be separate from the glove. Okay. So the main change in this design in terms of just the pattern of the glove is that it's now got four shets between the fingers, which basically is the same design Rachel reverse engineered from the bike gloves that we took apart at the gloves retreat. So we can close the glove, nice and tightly, and uh, the exosk is already powered and I'm connected to the network and now I've got a processing sketch uh, that Adam wrote and it's just been modified so that instead of reading the exos, the OSC messages from Glover, it reads uh, the messages directly from the XOSC exosk. So I can just press play and you can see that the graph is moving. So the top eight uh, graphed values in purple are from the e-textile sensors and the bottom eight uh, graphed values in orange are from the commercial bend sensors. And the first one is the thumb, the second one is the hand knuckle of the index, finger knuckle of the index ring, you know, middle finger, ring finger, like that. Um, and the same for the bend sensors. So this is the same as this, supposedly. Um, and you can see the flex sensors seem to be working as good as they were in previous gloves. And with the e-textile sensors, you can see that the uh, values aren't changing so much. They're working quite good on the finger knuckles, especially the middle finger knuckle you can see there, and the ring finger knuckle, and the index finger knuckle is shorted out right now because I was trying to make a fabric button that is so tight that it is pressured all the way. But yeah, so now you could see the bend of the index finger knuckle, and now if I push on top, uh, I can trigger the push button and it should normally recover itself like so. So this would be shorting out the sensor um, and triggering a button press. And this would be bending the sensor. Um, yeah, middle finger, little finger is not working very well. The fourchette that I added there is it's just not tight enough. 
Um, and then the hand knuckles, uh, because of the fourchettes, there's no real tension anymore in between here, which is great because they fit so well and, and they're not going to fall apart uh, in those points anymore. But I think you need to rethink a bit how to place the sensitive fabric so that it is uh, pressured or squished. And I'm thinking that it'd be good to go back to having the sensitive fabric in the palm because you really have a lot more um, compression of the fabric there when the fingers bend than on the side. Um, and then to just think about where to place the pickup lines to get it. And maybe it's not for um, every knuckle of every finger uh, solved with fabric, but maybe with flex and in combination. And then also I think the push buttons are nice. And I'm, I'm sure they can be made to work very well. This was just a quick uh, first go. Um, and then the LED light can be turned on and just changes random color. And this was just quickly mounted in some hot glue with the wires running off here. Yep, that is it.